So I saw this video on my feed here. YouTube is effectively demonetizing my channel and many others. It seems really fishy. Literally every movie or video I uploaded was hit by the yellow check mark of sadness. Uh <laughs> oh my god. I just peed in my basement. What does 8 million horses and the horse have in common? I don't like this question. <laughs> oh my I'm god. scared. <laughs> On Twitter seems to think that like because I don't think everyone who like disagrees with the uh, ruling is a pal that I disagree with the ruling I'm so confused I absolutely agree with the ruling not only that but I'm gonna fat shame here too this fat piece what of the shit hell literally fucking earlier said I'm the quartering social media manager is going to oh <laughs> yeah yeah the fucking cope that he has a social media manager are you cool with the quartering I, I he unfollowed me so I don't know if he's cool with me but like I don't really care um it's it's whatever my stance on the quartering is entirely based on my recent hatred for the anti Marvel channels um I think that a lot of the anti SJWs who get mad at every SJW thing that like all these different companies do are probably like as obnoxious as the uh buzzfeed articles from 2016 i, I think that like they ju they're just outrage mobs who are trying to make like like again like i don't think the eternals is a good movie and i think that brie larson wasn't a great captain marvel the length that it's taken on all of these channels with these insane fucking videos is unreal and i have like a huge disdain for that kind of content now I think it's just like it's what like twitch streamers look at youtube drama channels as it's just it's, it's pointless it's a pointless video that's intentionally made just to invoke a reaction. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty fucking unhinged. So, like, I, I understand that there are a lot of people who are taking Kyle Rittenhouse and the uh, Rosenbaum situation, and they're, like, looking at Rosenbaum and saying stuff like, Oh, um, this poor man, this poor angel or something. Like, I'm not talking about those people. The people who are describing Rosenbaum as, like, a, like a fucking, um model citizen who's never done anything wrong and was unjustly murdered uh, are, are completely unhinged and deranged and I think the criticisms that people are levying aren't entirely far from the truth. It's the people that are saying that anybody who's wrong about the verdict like, if you think that Kyle Rittenhouse is in the wrong in any capacity what no, no matter if your opinion is justified or not, which for the most point I, I've seen that a lot of people tend to just not know what happened in the incident, like incident, right? A lot of people are just, like, not up to speed on facts. I'm willing to bet that some of the celebrities who are tweeting out about these people who are already so detached from reality, we talk about this constantly, the celebrities are detached from reality, I'm sure some of them don't even know that Rosenbaum was a pedophile. Maybe not every one. Yeah. I, I certainly expect better from uh, Mayor Bill de Blasio. But, like, yeah, I, I, I honestly, yeah. I think if we're going to sit here and criticize media organizations for doing the story wrong and for um, for uh, spreading misinformation, we have to give a certain pass to people who consume that misinformation. And it's not realistic to expect every single person who comments on a situation to watch seven day long live streams of a court case before they make their 180 character tweet. That's not realistic. Right. Like the average viewer can just be wrong. That doesn't mean they support pedophilia or support pedophiles. Like, if you're saying that anybody who's, who is upset at the loss of life, because you could be upset about loss of life, right, um, in this situation, I think that's reasonable, even though these people are bad people. I think it's reasonable to say, like, you could be upset at, like, lo like just loss of life in general, okay? To call mm -hmm. a person who'd be just upset at loss of life a pedophile defender would mean that you'd have to logically be consistent where if you were to be upset that anyone died ever, you would have to now um, co-sign everything they've ever said or done in their entire lives. Yeah, pretty much. The issue, Nick, Justin Blake, Jacob Blake's uncle, popped a sign up with Rosenbaum's face on it in a Superman costume. These guys are attempting to paint these dead, injured victims of uh, Can you not just ratio them on Twitter? Like, the majority of people don't think that he's a superhero, and the majority of people who do think that for a short period of time are corrected almost instantly. Uh, when did we start taking, like... This is, like, your your problem is an issue that a majority of people don't have. 
and you're just getting outraged about it because it's like profitable in the given moment. If you don't know the story, then I can't blame you. But when people are unwilling to listen to the full story, so what is the full story then? How does Rosenbaum being a pedophile ha like relate to this story in any capacity? Look, I think that he's a terrible person. But did, did like Kyle have pedo seeking bullets? Did he have a pedophile identifier? You could know every aspect of this story and not know that he was a pedophile and the other guy was a wife beater. That's even more to look into. So yeah, I mean, I just, yeah. Was Rosenbaum rehabilitated? I don't even believe it. I don't even believe in that, so I'm not going to even argue with you. People assume these celebrities even read their replies. People assume these celebrities even write their tweets. How's that one? <laughs> dude, that's a good one, because so many of these, like, <laughs> celebrities have, like, people... Yeah, I know. Like, like dude, they have fucking teams of people who are, like, trying to figure out what is the optically correct tweet or whatever, who are all just as stupid as everybody else in this situation. I mean, even quartering himself for, like, a brief period of time had somebody... Someone in this fucking th thing said quartering's manager is on overtime right now trying to manage this debate. <laughs> Oh, my God. Uh, dude, I can't believe you fucking yeah, uh, destroyed him with the Keemstar shit. Dude, that was funny because, like, I, he instantly, like, came at me like, you know, maybe if you suck up to Keem enough, he'll let you host Drama Alert. And I'm like, bro, he offered to let me but host wait, it. wait, so Keemstar's in the chat right now. If I add Keemstar to the chat right now and I say, like, I'm glad that you're here, Keemstar, does that mean I condone him calling Alex the N-word seven years ago? Am I an am I a, like an N word sympathizer? No. Would you describe me as like what? What would you say there? Nothing. What is it? What, what the fuck like, is there to say? Come on, Tipster. You know Keemstar has used the N word before. Like, how could I possibly justify having him in the call? But I then again, know, the dude. same people who are making these claims literally don't care if you're racist. Like, they'll be like, oh my god, I can't believe you supported, uh, I can't believe you're upset this person died, whether you knew that they were, like, a pedo or not. But simultaneously, um, let's defend this guy who makes comics where he's got, like, three pages of Holocaust denial that we can go through. I don't know. I don't know! Yo, the quartering, I'm sick of it. This is not the first case of him doing this SJW cancel culture stuff. That's all his channel does. While he sits there, he's a fraud. The guy is a complete fraud. I want to ruin the quartering just as much as I want to ruin like <laughs> uh, that other guy that's on Hassan Twitch Piker that does the thing. I They're two sides of the same coin. Things. Yeah, it's the same thing, dude. These people are the same thing. They are literally all these people are fake. They're just fake, 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 fake. Okay, this is how it works. All right, chat, listen up. All right, chat. And viewers, all right, you are all mindless sheep, all right? And they know that you're mindless sheep. So, like, they basically come out and they're like, I love Trump. And then they get all you you mindless sheep because you like Trump, too. You have something in common. You're relatable, right? Then the other one goes, I like Biden or whoever. I like AOC, right? And they get all you because, like, you have something in common and da 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 And then they preach to you their beliefs and their morals and all this and like what they're trying to do and what they're trying to accomplish. And then they're direct hypocrites. Hassan Piker is out here buying $2 million homes saying everybody should have the same money. Eat the rich, what? Yeah. <laughs> Quartering's out here saying, uh, let's, let's, um, you know, cancel culture bad. Don't go after the companies. Don't go after the sponsors. Tonight he's tweeting out Disney plus. Star Wars, whatever. I don't even know what it's called because I don't watch Star Wars. Ugh, cancel me. But look, like, what is this? What is this? They're all frauds. These are all false, false prophets, right? That literally just, and they're, all their fans are like, okay, that, that guy's on my team. So whenever he says goes, he's on my team. So he's right. Like, you're all just a bunch of stupid sheep. And these people come in and play with your emotions. And, uh, well, if you watch mainstream up, media, right, you watch mainstream media and then you get like whatever their perspective is, not like the actual unbiased truth. So then they go, OK, well, you have to find like the unbiased people. So you have to go to find these um, these alternative media sources and these alternative media sources are biased, too. <laughs> so like where the fuck is the alternative media source that's going to get me through this? Like if I watch Hassan Piker's stream, I probably think it wasn't self-defense. If I watch the quarterings thing, I think that like. I don't know, dude. Every single Marvel movie is going to be the worst fucking movie ever created, but and the box office scores are a lie. Uh, it's just, I don't know, dude. I'm not getting, like, real information uh, from anybody. The fact the fact that Hassan Piker, or The Quartering, has an audience goes to show you how stupid people are. 
It's not really about them. It's about the audience. It's about the viewers. It's about the the people up there saying, yeah, go Hassan or go quartering. You, it, it just goes to show how stupid people are. The people are the problem. The dumb motherfuckers that didn't, like, I don't even know how any of these people graduated high school. How? How? You learn basic skills to survive in this world in high school, all right? I almost failed high school, and I'm more successful than almost all these fuckers, right? <laughs> like, like, if you passed high school, how are you this dumb? Yeah. Like, this stupid... Well, I don't think they're dumb. Like, I think that they're, like, actually extremely smart by pandering to a specific demographic who wants to hear one specific talking point. No. Hassan Piker is smart, okay? The quartering is smart. But what they're doing is they've been able to cultivate. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, dumb viewers. people. Yeah, stupid viewers. It is the viewers. It's all your fault, bro. I'm so sick of going online and literally saying to myself, "Oh my god, like I'm the only one that lives in reality. I, I'm the only one. Everyone else is crazy. Everyone else is insane. Everyone else is living a lie. I'm the only one. <laughs> like that's how I feel every day online. Just blatant lies." Going out to the masses, and it's not even about these two. It's just everything. This okay. Here's a prime example. All right, this story around H2O Delirious that I covered on Drumler. He's a popular YouTuber, right? Um, every time I cover a story on him, I get mindless sheep. And remember, H2O Delirious is like he's been around for like a decade on YouTube. His fans like grew up with him and they're now in their 20s, all right? These people in their 20s who graduated high school, they're in college, right? Just, he's innocent, he's innocent, all the allegations against him. Bro, the, the guy got banned on Twitter and he had a verified Twitter. That means an actual human looked at the case and decided that he was on alt accounts harassing people and banned his Twitter, all right? it's pretty much guilty. Like, you know, for legal reasons, allegedly, but it's pretty much guilty. But there's thousands and thousands and thousands of these people in their 20s saying H2O Delirious did nothing wrong. You're lying about him. Anything said about him. Twitter's lying about him. Like, it's just insane. We I mean, look at the Kiwi situation. The guy world... is still successful. Dude, it's insane. We live in a world of fucking lies. Just, just your whole entire world is people out there giving you false narratives on reality we live in an entire false narrative of reality online it's so insane to me it just i've been drinking tonight as you can tell but yeah, yeah. so is jeremy so to be clear you guys are on the but same yeah, page I was, I was just gonna say that so is jeremy dude he just replied to you again oh good <laughs> He says, Keem doesn't understand cancel culture at all and is just salty. He got ratio trying to defend Pedro. Let's mourn a child rapist. Pascal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did Quartering just say I got ratioed? You know who else says that? Hassan Piker. That's so <laughs> it's funny. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. They're the same people, bro. You're the same people. Dude, the, dude this guy ran this whole fucking thing for Gina Carano about how she was, like, unjustly forced out of Star Wars. And he's literally doing the same thing to Pedro Pascal right now. It's Bro. identical. He's doing the same fucking thing. It's it's literally like, this person agrees with me politically, so what they did to her was unjust, and now I'm going to lead the hate mob and push more people at Pedro Pascal, who is, quote-unquote, like, sympathizing with a pedo. Now, I think the tweet's bad, and the fact that he put, like, the two pictures of them there and was, like, unjustly murdered. I think the tweet's fucking bad. But do you think that Pedro Pascal is, like, a fucking pedo supporter? Do you think when he wrote that tweet, Pedro Pascal's first thought was, God, the way he molested those five children he's such a victim in this situation do you think that pedro pascal uh, knows do you do we know for a matter of fact that pedro pascal knows yeah. that, he, that he was like so convicted? Many people have no idea that they did this shit do we yeah, know if pedro so pascal was watching the like seven days of the court trial before he made that tweet or was pedro pascal watching fucking anna kasparian or watching cnn or watching nbc or watching all these fucking organizations where the story wrong for a year like I, i'm just saying like i don't know i don't know I'm gonna make a Twitter video to hit this fucker right now. Yeah, and I don't even, th and I think you could be upset with loss of life and not inherently support everything, every single, uh, the specific person dead. I don't think that every single person that is defending, um, 
Like, every single person that says welcome back to Zero in the community and is upset that Zero almost killed himself is thinking, God, it's so good what he did with that 14-year-old, if that's true. I, I don't yeah. think that's what... I don't... Dude, I'm sorry. I, I don't like that situation, and I don't like Zero coming back, but I'm not going to call every single person who's welcoming him back a fucking, like... I, I, I wouldn't... I don't even know if I want to use the P word, but I wouldn't say that they condone that action, Right. But I mean, if you're if you're logically Dude, consistent, you I think you'd have to have that take. The quartering, aka Jeremy, you and your fans have lost your goddamn mind. Forever, you've been saying you're against cancel culture and you're against the social justice warriors. You're against going after sponsors and all this other shit, right? Well, apparently some actor made a claim, rest in peace to the fucking pedophile that Kyle Rittenhouse killed in self-defense, all right? So you got upset about that and you want to call the guy out. But instead of calling the actor out, you decide to put out a tweet saying, oh, when your family is watching Disney Plus and they're watching the Star Wars series, be reminded that the lead actor is a fucking pedophile supporter or whatever. Why did you add Disney Plus? Why did you fucking add that he's in a Star Wars series? Why didn't you just talk about the actor? Because you're being a social justice, cancel culture warrior, fucking hypocrite. That's why. So I call you out for that. And your fans then respond, oh, I guess you support pedophiles. You know who else acts this way? The cancel culture fucking pieces of shit all over the fucking internet. Your fans are just like that. Now you respond. You, Jeremy, yourself respond and say, I didn't think Keemstar would be pro-pedophile, but I guess he is. You are a social justice warrior, cancel culture, fucking moron, just like everyone else on this goddamn site. You are no different than the people you call out. Look at your actions. Look at your tweets. Look how you fucking act. Look how your fucking mindless sheep fans act. Look what they say. Look how they spin narratives. You're all a complete joke and only Keemstar lives in base reality. Thank you. Did you just say, I ratioed you. You're just mad because I ratioed you. You know who else ratios me? Hassan Piker. Why? Why are you and Hassan Piker completely different fucking spectrums of the political landscape? Ratio and Keemstar. I don't know. One, nobody fucking likes me. I've accepted it. But two, you kind of cheat it in all of this. You and Hassan Piker, both of you. Because you're political fucking hacks, which means you come out and you say, I fucking love Trump or I love AOC or whatever the fuck. And you automatically get support because people are on the same fucking team. You have bad takes like Hassan Piker coming out saying, uh, yeah, I love socialism. I love Bernie Sanders. But then he buys a $2 million fucking mansion or some shit, right? He doesn't give any of his fucking money to the people. Giant hypocrite. He doesn't get called out because... He's on a team, so he gets team support. You, you're against cancel culture, but you're out here fucking calling out Disney Plus. You're calling out the fucking Star Wars series. You're literally trying to get this fucking actor fired, right? Huge hypocrite quartering, but you know what? You ratioed me. You wanna know why? Because you're on a fucking team. I'm on a team. I'm on this guy's team. Support me, guys. No one gives a fuck about your ratio. This is man shit between me and you. You're fucking wrong, and I know it, and you know it, you fucking ugly little bitch that got fucking slapped by a man and got so salty, your pathetic ass went to YouTube and raised money to sue the guy that punched you. That's some bitch shit. You're a bitch forever. Never forget it. Calling out Disney Dude, Plus. I do think Hassan does donate to charity. I, 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 no, so? I, I know what you mean. That's not that's not fair. Wait, put pause in the video. Put pause in the video. Listen, all right. Everyone under socialism is supposed to have the same amount of money, bro. You have a two million dollar house. You donate all of it, bro. You donate all of it. You leave yourself thirty thousand dollars, which is the medium income. Look, I, I'm not gonna argue list, that Hassan bro. should give more. And at this rate, if he did like a charity stream a month, that would be pretty dope, especially with the way, where he stands. Yeah. Bro, just... bro, bro. If Hassan Piker donates ten thousand dollars, that's like. 
me donating like I don't know. No, no, no the crit- all right, that much, right? that's it not the good nothing. critique. The good critique is that he'll go and say Jeff Bezos donating a million dollars is like 0.13% of his overall net worth and then he won't do yeah. No, 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 no. This dude's like wants to be like socialism and shit, right? Like 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 No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying is that he'll, he'll critique capitalist donations by saying it's only a percentage of their net worth and then he won't do the same when he's yeah, you know you, you understand what I'm saying? No, what I'm saying is that dude should have fifty thousand dollars, and everyone should have fifty thousand dollars. It's the same, but that's what he believes. Hmm. I mean, it's a bit more than that, right? Yeah. Isn't that what he believes? Everybody should have the same amount right, of money, I'm, right? I'm not like the biggest expert in socialism, but I do think it's a bit more in depth than just everybody has the same amount of money. No, dude. Like over in Russia, everybody had a job. Over in Russia, right? tons of people. Well, tons of people were killed. They didn't have the same amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody had a job. Like, like the plumber was making the same amount as a doctor, and the doctor was making the same amount amount as mm-hmm. a house cleaner. Like, everybody got paid the same amount. Yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not versed well in, um, in socialism. That's what they're trying to do, which is weird because I thought Trump worked with the Russians. So, wouldn't they support <laughs> Trump? I don't know. All right, let's keep going. Before uh, Hassan, you can unpause the video. Somebody wrote. Pedophiles oh. are people who are wrong. The more wrong you are, the more pedophile you are. <laughs> no, they're what joking. The they're hell? joking. What does they're that joking. even mean? <laughs> I was about to say, like, what the fuck does that even mean? I like how this is all over Pokemon gameplay. Like, <laughs> I'm in the Pokemon section, so some 10-year-old kid's gonna be like, Oh, Shiny Dialga, what's going on? Keem's gonna be like, he got hit by a man in a dra- Someone in chat, did you see the Keemstar versus Quartering stuff on Twitter? I don't know, Keem, did you see the Quartering versus Keemstar stuff on Twitter? I, I don't know. <laughs> you, you gotta love someone who comes in chat and they literally show up just to like, Yo, did you see this shit? While you're literally talking about with, it, with Ke- <laughs> Yeah. I did, I did hear about it. <laughs> I'm fucking weak, dude. Dude, oh god, Jeremy's been getting on Literally my nerves. Literally, like, yo, you want to fill I... me in? You want to fill me in on Bro, it? <laughs> what do you mean, getting on your nerves? This no. guy has been a fraud from the Dude, beginning. he unfollowed me over the shit that he did to- I know you don't like Rich, but he did Rich so fucking dirty, bro. Review right. Tech USA. Oh my god, dude. He- I think he unfollowed me for the same thing, because, like, I just noticed, like, maybe a- couple weeks ago that he unfollowed me too i wish i had that video i put together because i don't remember the entire fucking story at the moment okay i have to talk about this because this is so fucking unhinged i've managed to stay out of the boomer drama between the quartering and review tech usa and yeah you know what i'm done i'm not doing it anymore uh just to be clear my affiliations are i'm decently cool with jeremy he's defended a lot of people in my community and i don't know rich in any capacity i like rich i don't know rich so i have no affiliation to rich but jeremy he puts out this tweet 41 minutes ago and it's just one of those bitch made fucking tweets that I can't stand. It's one of those people keep sending me this video of a fellow YouTuber gloating about ripping his parents off but I won't post it because I'm the bigger man. I'm in no position to judge someone's heinous sins. That's for someone okay within like fucking 10 minutes he's already posted it and not only did he post it he attached it to a video where Rich is crying about That you go back like that loser the fucking quartering. Maybe you should link the actual actual video to your fucking pinned he pinned this okay jeremy links a video now from some like unhinged fucking hate troll channel that alleges that rich apparently ripped off his elderly parents and scammed them out of their fucking home what rich did is buy his parents household and allow them to retire and live there basically for free. So Rich has basically taken on the financial burden of his entire fucking family, allowed them to retire, and now owns a house where they are allowed to live for free. And people are saying that he's scammed them or ripped them off because they didn't charge him a marked up value and he didn't pay what the the going rate was for the house. When in reality, there's no inconvenience to be had. If they wanted to move, they'd have to uproot their entire lives, go somewhere else and buy a house or rent an apartment or pay a landlord. So by all accounts, what Rich is doing here is admirable. There's nothing wrong with this. I have no fucking idea how you twisted him purchasing a house for his fucking family that he lives on the other side of, by the way. There's like two kitchens, two everything. Thing. What is wrong with you? Delete this fucking tweet. That's so stupid, bro. But it was like he promoted this random fucking hate channel, like that was on the on par with like one of the Wings of Redemption stalker channels. It was like literally the guy who's been going after Rich's sponsors for the last decade, his channel, and he tweeted it out, and they were talking about like 
uh, like the person had like doxed Rich, got like blueprints to their house, and was trying to prove that fucking Rich was like living with his parents. And then, but Rich didn't live with his parents. Rich's parents. Isn't this an old story? This, this was about a couple weeks story. ago. No way. Okay, listen. This story is old. Like, this was years ago when this guy did this, right? The fact that Quartering brought this back up and <laughs> was talking about it. Yeah, he brought ridiculous. it up because, like, I don't know, the Quartering would, like, say... I, I don't I don't even know. I, I don't know why um, the beef has been going on so long. Why did it get... Yeah, why did it get... It was like, oh, fuck you. You're, you're, um, you tweeted out this fucking screenshot. Well, guess what? You did elder, elder abuse. That's what he was saying. It was elder abuse. Because the parents claimed they sold it to him at a lower rate or something. So he's like, they ripped your parents off for their household or whatever. Meanwhile, now okay. their parents are, like, okay. literally not working anymore and they get to retire. This is the... Okay, this is the equivalent of going to what is that website that like has a bunch of lies about uh, YouTubers and stuff? What is Kiwi that Farms. I mean, there's it's, some there's truth. There. No, it's no, it's a wiki. oh Wikitubia, Wikitubia, like, whatever. Internet fuck, AJ's it's script, it's yeah, not, Inter Wikitubia. That, oh that's, my god! <laughs> it's not Wikitubia. It's Wall something cow? else. But anyhow, it's something Ed. Encyclopedia like something. Dramatica. Oh, um, yeah, yes, yes, Dramatica. yes, Encyclopedia yeah. Dramatica. Okay, so like that's basically what quartering's going on. Is like just like some stalker fan makes up some rumor. Like on Encyclopedia Dramatica, that's where like Keemstar has like a 15 year old girl uh, getting naked on stream. Keemstar's like doing this and that. Like remember that grade A under A video that was filled with all just mm -hmm. BS? It was from that site. And so what happens is, is like you, you'll have a stalker, you'll have somebody that like hates your guts and wants to ruin you, right? And they'll go to like a Wikipedia page like that and just make up a bunch of weird stuff. And they'll like connect the dots, like conspiracy theory. A lot of it's like fill in the blank type shit to accuse you of horrible stuff. Well, that this is what was happening to Rich, but this was like years. I, I'm telling you, this story about him defrauding his parents is at least two years Do you years remember old. the big cheese right? drama? Oh my god, the big cheese shit, dude. Review Tech USA no, versus Big that. Cheese. Man, they, they called... Wait, dude, some guy hits me up in my comment section like, you've pissed off the Big Cheese Crusaders. Rich yeah, dude, got accused of scamming somebody for a <clears throat> computer a decade ago named Big Cheese. <laughs> and this motherfucker's group is called the Big Cheese Crusaders, dude. Yeah, because the deal with that was he was going to do ads on his channel, kind of like a sponsorship to promote this other guy's channel in exchange for like a short, like a small amount of money and a free PC. And like apparently yeah. Rich didn't hold up his end of the deal completely. This but it's like happened. something that's since been resolved like ages ago. Like the two creators like worked it out. They're good. This happens to every YouTuber. Do you guys know that like um, somewhere on the Internet, there's a group of about four people. They're in a Reddit or they're in a Discord, they're somewhere online, and their whole mission is to destroy Mr. Beast. I guarantee it. For whatever reason- You're like, Taylor Lorenz, Taylor Lorenz, you have to believe us. We have all the answers. Come on, Taylor Lorenz, write like the this, article. I, I, every single major YouTuber or little YouTuber has a stalker, and that stalker finds other stalkers or converts other people that are just like, don't like the guy or whatever, and they form these groups and they like they like literally plan to like plant stories and ruin these YouTubers. Every YouTuber has it. It's insane. It really is insane. But yeah. it's it's a real thing. Yeah, I mean, it, it happens to yeah. everybody. I know. Britbong, <clears throat> Britbong is our group. Is, um, he's been. Yeah. How, it's no, a real that's fucking tweet. Totally like you no, don't care. Not. Lol. Maybe make another video saying you don't care. Yes, I was assaulted. Ask the guy how it turned out for him. Give him a call from the pool with your shirt and hat that's on. That's not the tweet I, I see. just peed in the my basement. Oh my god. It's oh not god. it's not a quote tweet, it's a direct reply to you. He made a quote tweet too. He said, Yes, I was violently assaulted by a leftist and deep guy. <laughs> He's freaking out right now, dude. <laughs> that guy needs to lay off the sauce because like he always does this shit when he gets drunk, dude. Oh uh, that's funny. Yo. They're all fake, bro. Listen, viewers, look, I understand you're all mindless, stupid, sheep viewers, but dude, don't, <laughs> oh don't. God. Don't let these people be your leaders. 
anybody that's trying to spin you some political shit is going to lie to you. They are going to lie to you. If they are on a political team, they're going to lie to you, bro. Yo, Keem, am I, am I going to get the they're shiny on this you. reset? Is he so drunk that he's just, like, forgetting what he's tweeting and he's saying, I just peed in my basement? You never know. You never know. Maybe I'm going to pee in my trash can down here. I don't know. My wife went out for pizza without me, and I'm angry about it. So I'm going to win this round, and I'm going to pee. If I don't win this round, I'm going to pee in my own basement. What do we think about that? I don't have a bathroom down here. Oh, we made it. I was ready to pee my pants. I'm ready to, I, I, I'll, I don't have a toilet down here. All I have is a drain in the floor. Woo! Oh, I'm almost about to pee my pants. I gotta pee so bad. I gotta pee so bad. I wanna lose so I can pee, but I don't wanna lose. I have to pee so bad though. It's hard to describe how angry my bladder is. You guys don't know, it's gonna explode. My bladder's gonna blow. Nobody's been eliminated either. Get up! Get up! No! I've literally never lost that round. I've never lost that round. I've never lost that round. Oh my god. I just peed in my basement. No, not in the kitty litter. Just uh, in the drain. In the drain. Look. If you want to watch a streamer that wants to pee in the potty, go watch someone else. When you're a pro gamer like me, yeah, I mean, if you're if you're a dude that if you want to watch a dude that's going to piss in the fucking uh, overflow tank in his base basement, that's who I am. Uh, no, I think he's just trying to mean because he knows that people are going to pull that like, go pee in your basement drain again because that's what people say whenever he gets drunk. <laughs> I just like no, I didn't understand your... the reference. Well, yeah, because he, like, uh, apparently pissed in his, like, a, there's a drain in his basement, and he pissed in it one time he was drunk, and so people, like, fuck with him because of that. Here you go. Retweet this chat. How's that look, Tip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, this happens at least once a month at this point. He gets sloshed and then, like, says a bunch of dumb shit on Twitter. And then he tries to pick fights with people. People that are, like, super softball criticism, like, yo, dude, this ain't it, or whatever. <laughs> Like, he tried to come at me. He tried to come at me like, yeah, if you defend Keemstar enough, he'll let you host Drama Alert. And I'm like, bro, he, like, offered, and I declined. Let Omega go off. Okay. That's a good tweet from Keem, frankly. Um. Um. Yeah. Uh, fuck <laughs> I'm done. Oh, <laughs> He's doing cancel culture. Isn't he doing cancel culture? He named out Disney+. Plus. He named out the Mandarin or whatever, right? I don't watch Star Wars. He, he named why that has nothing. It has nothing to do with Disney Plus. Has nothing to do with the Star Wars series, bro. It's only about this personal actor's feelings. So call out the personal actor. If you're gonna mention Disney Plus, if you're gonna mention the Star Wars series, you are dog whistling to your disciples to get him fired. Yeah, and if you're going to go right? after, like, Gina Carano that hard for Disney making the decision to remove her, I mean, like, you're literally panning the opposite, pandering the opposite way to try to, like, damage the Mandalorian through Pedro's if tweets. If I recall correctly, I think Pedro Pascal specifically called the quartering and Geeks and Gamers racist. They have, like, a super uh, personal grudge. Oh, I didn't know that. Guy. Oh, yeah, that's that right. That makes there it kind of worse, there. then. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Now it now it's personal. It's now it's even mean. Oh, it's actually insane. Yeah. I forgot that happened. That's true. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, I'm sorry for derailing oh, your shit. Yo, why did 
I'm live. Why did you dye your hair blonde? What do you think? It was charity. No, yeah, it was I a it was a donation yeah. goal thing. I did a charity. I'm telling you right now, like you're looking like the lead actor in that Star Wars series. Right now. Wait, Wait Ray? Ray? I don't know. Quartering keeps calling that dude a p word. Wait, that's what I was referring. Uh, the funniest to. part of that Keem, is that he wears a mask in like 99 percent of the show. <laughs> Pedro Pesk. Yeah, you don't even see Pedro's face. He wears like a Master Chief yeah. helmet type thing. Oh, good He's Lord, not even on camera for most of it. I think. They don't reveal his face until, like, the end of the People were talking about, like, if he got fired from there, they'd, like, have to replace his voice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, they, they scramble his voice through, like, a, a thing when he talks. He, he talks like a walkie-talkie type thing yeah. to his helmet. So you can yo, get somebody who sounds yo, like him. Alexander Hall, do you actually support Vosh? Like, isn't Vosh, like, had, like, a lot of bad takes, like, that would potentially danger okay, children? Okay, no. Okay, Keen... <laughs> Team, I, I oh my god! You, I promise you, start any clip, any clip of Vosh that you have seen, I can send you the extra thirty seconds. And by the way, Keem is drunk. Is, just to let you know, just to like, uh, just get this. Well, no, no, but also, just but also, I'm asking questions. I'm not making statements. Just to be fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And by the way, yeah, Vosh, you can unpause the stream right now, um, just to get that in there. Yeah, <laughs> we already had that with Hassan, so I'm just making sure we're all we're covering all of our bases. Jesus. So wait, wait, wait. Explain. I want answers because I really don't know. I see these clips where he's like basically supporting some really messed up stuff. So the clip that I've seen you specifically post was the one where he's playing um, that Dead Cells game and he talks about how he hasn't heard a convincing argument against the possession or uh, consumption of child pornography. And he goes, I was actually there live when he said that, when that clip was made, ironically enough. So I, I actually have a fresh okay. memory of witnessing that event of what the actual context was. But he was actually talking about was how a lot of people, especially on the left, are incapable of making like a really logic-based argument against um, the consumption of child porn because they'll make arguments like, well, it's okay for us to consume, um, you know, clothes and, and products that are made by child slavery, but but child porn is especially bad. He doesn't like the double standard. He wants to, people to treat both those things uh, equally as bad. Things that are made through the exploitation of children's labor and things that are made through the exploitation of All children's right. I know this is not going to resonate with my audience, and I can try to translate it. Basically, Vosh was using child pornography as an example, which he probably shouldn't have done in mm -hmm. hindsight, because this has obviously been really oh. obnoxious for him, I would assume, to try to argue why um, like the materials used in cell slave phones and like how like all this, this like slave labor that produces much of the shit that you use on a daily basis. And it's like, if you're exploiting children here, why is it not okay to exploit children here? Objectively, both are bad. Now, in hindsight, I believe Augie has questioned him in private about his stance on, I have yet to hear a moral or legal argument on why child pornography should be banned. And I believe he admitted, yeah, I, I believe he admitted it was worded poorly. Yeah, like yeah it, it, he it, said it, he was like baiting or something for debates. Or he, he wanted to debate people who would be like, Why'd you say this? So then he could he could turn it. Okay, into like so that. I'm not the bad guy for thinking like, whoa, bro, like doesn't this no. Guy and like, and uh, at this point, like I've heard so many stuff. clips of Vosh saying that that I, again, like I don't know. I, at this point, I don't blame the uh, the casual viewer if the intention is to have, like pull an emotional response and have a debate. Well, then obviously the emotional response is the emotional response. Uh, I do think that though, yeah. if you're gonna like make real claims, you should look into it just to be sure. But. The, the issue yeah. I have, the issue I had with Keem posting that particular clip is because Keem, you're the drama guy. You're like, probably like the biggest person to go to for drama on all of YouTube. I mean, you're synonymous with drama, your name is. And mm -hmm. so when you post a clip like that, a lot of people who don't even know who this YouTuber is are going to see that clip and, and be like, well, I mean, Keem's tweeting this out that it must be trustworthy. And well, okay, so, so I, I've explained this a million times uh, online, I think. At least Nick would probably remember mm -hmm. this. But, like, my Twitter isn't Drumler, all right? <laughs> like, you know, if I used hashtag Drumler on that post with Vosh, okay, then I'm guilty, all right? But if I didn't use hashtag Drumler, then it's just me seeing a clip being like, what is this? Like, you know, like, that type of stuff. If there's news that I'm going to take serious, that I'm going to research, that I'm going to, you know, tell a story to my audience... That's gonna be on my YouTube, man. But my Dude, Twitter. But here's is the just thing, insane. and I think that everyone has. Damn, Keem, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Xander all destroyed you in this debate. All right, 
I'm drunk. Here's the thing. Break. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> I think if you use, like, I, I think if you're going to go for emotional bait arguments off of child pornography, I, I mean, I don't think Vosh does that anymore for the reason that, like, it's probably Dude, a huge I'm hindrance. I'm looking at Xander. Wait, hold, time, time, time out, Nick. I'm so sorry. I'm looking at Xander Holt's, um, like, stream right now, and I can see him, and he is smiling from ear to ear off of that comment, Augie. Like, seriously, you need to stop. Right now. This dude <laughs> literally is acting like he won the fucking lottery. It's fucking pathetic. It's so pathetic. <laughs> He's <laughs> still <laughs> smiling. Chill out, Bro. Chill out, chill out, chill out. It's okay. Dude, it's I'm okay. just being a radical centrist. I'm trying to get both sides of the argument here. It's okay. I'm, my, someone in my chat made a funny joke and I was laughing at it. Can somebody find the original tweet to see if I'm guilty of using hashtag drama or not? Because if I'm not using hashtag drama, then it's just keep talking. But if I'm using hashtag drama, then that is technically a news story and I should be want, in trouble for not doing the research. But don't you want Keem to be a somewhat reliable like source? Like if you want someone, if someone says, hey, Keem said this, don't you want that to be like, oh, well, I mean, fuck. Keem. A drama alert is a reliable source. Yeah. Keem started just right. talk shit. I have the tweet. It was YouTube streamer Vlog who is live right now is playing Among Us and defends child porn. Did I say drama? No, <laughs> no, you didn't say. <laughs> I didn't say drama. Yeah. It's not news. <laughs> but he did. He did. He, didn't he say did drama. He defended. He did defend it. He, he did. He did defend it. Wait. Right. What is his defense of child porn? Well, he said he. Well, he, I would say you could. Couldn't you argue his defense of it would be that it's not like that we're not morally consistent on the issue? Maybe he. Maybe he heard an argument. I don't know. <laughs> well, ironically enough, he follows it up with, like, yeah. his, his, what he's saying is more or less. I haven't heard an argument as good as my argument why it's bad. Yeah. And yeah. There's not really much I can do with this one. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, whole. you're probably right. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't know. I mean, if even he's admitting it was a bad analogy, then I think yeah, it's yeah, safe yeah. to the, say the, it's a bad the analogy. The main, the main issue and the main takeaway is that when you're a streamer or a content creator and you like are live streaming yourself constantly, you have to be careful how you word things. If you have a verbal- Oh, I got it. Here we go. I got it, Xander Hall. I'm cutting you off again. It's his version of the fucking incest debate. It would have been his incest debate yeah. arc. Come on and defend what? Like, yeah, debate me on the ethics of child pornography, and we'll find out how consistent you actually Except are. That's that's what it would have been. It would yeah. have been like the, the the CPQ, and it did not end up well because it's just harming children and incest okay. are two very can, different can, things, and it probably wasn't we, received well. Can we can we just all agree he's an idiot for saying that? I mean. It was a, he, he says he regrets yeah. those verbal gaps. Uh, so he's more I think he's idiot. pretty brave for saying it. The quartering would say quite stunning, actually. Um. <laughs> stunning and brave, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, you just heard it here. Augie does, in yeah. fact, support CP. You're oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said he was Wait, actually, brave. hold on. Britbong wants on. Can we... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what? I respect the man that's got oh, a hot take God. and is willing to stand by it, all right? I fucking I have some respect for yeah. bravery these days, yeah. all right? Not everyone will say it. Not everyone says it. Vosh says it. <laughs> Wait, are you... Look, hold on. I'll are you say... fucking quoting what I put on Twitter the other day? What? No. I don't know. What are you saying. kidding? Wait, are you talking about the zero thing? Wait, what I said I respect somebody zero? who stands by his convictions, even when he makes a hot take. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, dude. You're such an asshole. Oh, my God. Hey, Nick, should I... Yo, Xander, <laughs> yeah. you actually, like, go debate people or and, like, do something. Because, like, every time I see you, you're just, like, clinging on to commentators or Voss he or anyone people. else bigger to, like... <laughs> What is Wait, he debate? debate people? Where do you think, like, how do you think online debate works? Okay, you let's debate. <laughs> oh, no, right. no, 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 I think no, 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 Wait, Nick, I can think... we debate the incest uh, thing? Oh, yo, yeah, Keem, no, you want to no, debate I Xander think... Hall on whether incest is morally neutral? Yeah, I'm sure I, that's what Keem is really dying to talk about. <laughs> that's the real pressing <laughs> issue in the room. Right. <laughs> Actually, uh, the issue I'd like to debate is how uh, McDonald's is superior to Chick-fil-A. Go ahead. Oh, you're completely right about that, but everything is inferior to Five Guys. Thank you! Thank you. Chick-fil-A is the devil. And dude, the no, no, dude, Chick-fil-A Chick -fil is fucking garbage because they're not open on Sundays, and businesses that aren't open on Sundays should be shut down. I don't care about your religious convictions. Nick, Fuck you. you Fuck you. If your... I want chicken on Sundays, I'll get it at McDonald's because they're a company that's open on the correct Nick. fucking days of the week, dude. 
Nick, I don't want to hear shit from the guy that runs in fear from seeing a crucifix on the wall. Excuse I me, I fucking grab shit. a crucifix and I bring it right into the Phasmophobia game every single time because I'm afraid of getting killed. Okay. So I don't want to hear your fucking shit right now, dude. I got a real question. Why the hell are we wasting our time playing this stupid ghost hunting game when we can be playing, uh, what's the game that I brought up last time that I forgot? Dude. Um... We could be hunting real ghosts with our. No, 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 no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh my God, how am I drawing a blank? What this game has a stupid name. You, Sander Paul, <laughs> you said that you played it. What, what game? Dead man? by That's... Daylight is what you're going for. Dead by Dead Daylight. By daylight. Oh, yeah. Dead by Daylight. That game yeah. is the shit. It's a fun game. It's Way it's better. only like a, what is it a five player game? You get Dude, your whole you chat spamming Xanderfold. <laughs> 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 I think I think Kim has about sixteen different. <laughs> it's not even like his name is hard to say. <laughs> like what, you can Xander just say Zander. <laughs> <even. laughs> what Xander is it, Hall. dude? You fucking it's dude. Like no Hall. bullshit. Marble does the same Matt fucking thing with everyone he talks to. That he like he makes sure he knows exactly who you are, and then he intentionally says your name wrong to fuck with you. No, listen, Keemstar is Xander fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I did come out as bi because like he's what? SJWs yeah, I came out as bi. Did you know that? Wait, I didn't know you were bi. Congratulations, man. Thank you so much. No, but, like these people were coming out <laughs> trying to say that I was like transphobic and against the LGBTQ, which is insane. So I like I literally committed to sucking a dick and like dude, what? I'm part of the I'm part of the rainbow team. How was it, since. dude? Uh, I mean, Wait. I haven't done it yet. I probably will never do it, but I, I committed to it. Wait a minute. I got a question for you, Kim. Uh, you you ran from the debate last night. You were going to come on, and then you heard the question, and you weren't going to go on anymore. So I'm going to ask it to you now, okay? Wait, hold up, hold up. I think a debate is happening right now. Uh, what, are you saying a virgin can't be a part of the LGBTQ? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What? Ah, is that what you're saying? Who said that? Is that what you're saying? Because I'm got thinking a, a virgin, someone that hasn't had any sexual act, you know, like activity, could still be part of the LGBTQ. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, it's about being attracted, not having fucked. Well, so, I'm a bisexual virgin, so there. Team, who are you attracted to? Wait, you're a, a virgin? I don't you have know. a kid. I, I'm a bi. <laughs> I'm a bisexual virgin. <laughs> He's a virgin to man. I'm a, I'm well, a technically, everyone virgin. who hasn't had sex with a man is a virgin to man, but that doesn't make you inherently bisexual. Yeah. What, I don't what, know. Like, do you find men I... attractive, though, Keem? Like, do you ever see a guy and just kind of think, yeah, I'd stick not, it in him. Not, not really, but you know, I don't have to find guys attractive. I could just claim it, right? That's all that's that's all that's all required. <laughs> um, I mean, usually the, the hope is that the claim would be made, made like, uh, genuinely. That's yeah, but you can't prove well, it. Well, you just like, kind of said me. That's true. That that is you fine. can't prove it until you play this clip. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, just said yeah. you don't like men. I know, but I can change my mind right after this <laughs> call and want them again. Like, that's well, literally, to, like, to, yeah, it's to up be to fair, me. To be fair, Keem could actually be gay and not realize it yet. Exactly. Well, wait, I don't know. get this, though, right? Because you're saying that you became bi because everyone was calling you transphobic, but you can be bi and transphobic still. Like, like what does that say? I've seen plenty of What does of that say people. about your take on trans people? I don't know, dude. I might wear a dress. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, then, and then I'll go visit the quartering. I was just oh, going to no. say that. You're going to oh, beat up the quartering like the other no. dude with the dress? Yeah. My head is in my hand right now. Oh my god. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I don't think that's like, what trans is either, Kim. Hey, what? Some CIA what drone footage of like the house where Ke where Keem dressed up in a dress shows up uh, to to the quartering's home and like yeah, gets the shit out of them. That footage I want to see on Kim. All right. I don't yeah. think Keem, dressing up. Hold on, time out. Keem, I have a question like... for you. Hey, Augie, real quick, Augie brings up a brain a great point. Like wearing a dress doesn't technically mean you're trans right like yeah women, women can wear whatever clothes they want so couldn't a guy wearing guys clothes technically still be trans but not appear to be women a woman whatsoever in any light in their clothing and their makeup and anything like nothing just trans but like looks like a straight guy um yeah technically yeah be called wow that's insane mind blowing <laughs> all right <laughs> what the keem, keem star keem star 
I'm, I just decided that I'm trash. Keem Star. Zan Wait, Xanderhal just won another not, debate. Wait, Xanderhal just won another debate. Keemstar's Wait, not transphobic anymore. Wait, I won. I won. I'm not transphobic. I'm, I'm Wait, so Keemstar, if you could end World War II before it begins by having sex with Hitler, would you do it? Oh my god, yes. Like, I would do that, yeah. Alright, so sure. that proves that 100%. he's at least bisexual. No, I'm not, but like... You just dude, said he would like, have... You just like, admitted like, you'd have sex with a guy, so... Like, tw I, I would have to. 20 million people died. I'm not going to let 20 million people By the way, he like, answered that question a lot faster than, than we did on the panel. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> a yeah. lot faster. There, Why would you there was deliberation for a while. He was, he was prepared. <laughs> He's answered that question before. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Why would you have to think about it? So many people died. It's like, what? Hold on. I have to, I have to quote something. Yeah. Um, like, aren't you a human? Like, what? All right. There was a person. There was a person named Oliver Sipple. Simple. Oliver Simple. Okay. Are you familiar with this guy's story? Uh, that was me that told. Okay. The story. Well, do you know the story? So yeah. what happened in that story? Well, that guy basically saved the president because a woman was shooting at the president, which was you know President Ford at the mm -hmm. time, and she missed the first shot. The second shot, she goes to reload. Uh, you know, Oliver Simple tackles her to the ground, right? He's a hero, national hero. Everyone loves him, celebrates him, right? His family, right? His brother and his dad, like, on on breaks, you know, they would go down to the local bar because that's what they did back in the 70s. And everyone's buying him around. It's like, yo, your son's a hero. Your brother's a hero. Like, he was a hero, national hero. Save the president, right? Well, so these reporters, they start digging in and they find out that he's gay, and so they like start coming out reports that he's gay. Now his family's getting bold at lunch, uh, bullied at lunch break, Ooh. right? And he's getting harassed nonstop. His mother I mean, disowned so him. Horrible. His mother disowned. He him. couldn't yeah, go home bad, to his yeah. family. So now, Keemstar, I'm going to ask yep. you one more time: Would you have sex with Hitler to stop World War II? Oh, because back then I'd get a lot of hate. It would probably ruin your entire fucking life, and nobody would ever give you the... You, you'd have to look for idiots be an years hero. later to repeat this in a story of a hypothetical of if they would fuck somebody else to end another world tragedy. Look, 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 look. If I hook up with Hitler, all right, Hitler won't rise to power, which means Hitler won't be famous, which means no one will know. What time am I hooking up with Hitler? What if you're hooking up with him, like, right as he's taking power? Like, right before he started to enact the policies of the Holocaust? Like, dude, Holocaust? tomorrow, well, think this shit happens, bro. This shit's gonna happen. That, like, bro, like bro, Ava I Braun's think... gonna walk, on, walk in on you fucking, and it's gonna get to the press, and all of the world's gonna, be, gonna know. It's gonna be, like, global fucking news, dude. Dude, you yeah, have But it's gonna to... be right before- his career will be ruined right before okay, the look, Holocaust okay. happens, and it never occurs. Look, I'm gonna go out, and I'm gonna do an interview, and I'm gonna be like, look, this is what happened, I'm a time traveler. They told me if I hooked up with this dude, I'd save all these people. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell All right, well, the fucking moral of the story is history is homophobic, and if there were time machines, gay people, trans people, and black people can only go forward because society was terrible years ago, so. Actually, the moral of the story is if you get a time machine, go back 30 years earlier to when Hitler's a baby and just kill him instead of fucking him. Wait, what? Oh, that's okay. The, Wait, that's the, that's the dude, Edwin on the story. panel, literally, okay, no, no, Edwin buddy. on the panel literally went, couldn't you just, like, oh, God, he said, like, could, couldn't, couldn't, yeah, he, yeah, he said that. How many, oh, Jesus. I got a question. How many people were alive around World War II, and what percentage of them died because of the war? I think there were probably uh, two or three billion people in the world around that time. Just asking questions, kind of guys. Uh, like back in the eighties or not. Yo, let's get the date. Let's get the date. All right, I don't like where this question is going. I don't like this. Um. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say anything. Okay. Bad. Wait, how many people? Uh, world did... War Two was in the forties, right? Yeah, nineteen forties. Okay. So it seems like there were 2.3 million people, or two, sorry, 2.3 no, billion. billion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2.3 okay. billion so people. So now let's died. find out how many people okay. died in All right. World War II. Uh, 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 I'm what? getting really close to pulling the plug on this. Well, wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Do, you mean, like, all right, wait, wait. Do you mean how many people died in the Holocaust or how many people died oh, in the no, Holocaust? No, 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 no
every casualty. Okay, we're good. God. We're good. I'm, I'm looking at, like... Oh, fuck, dude. That's yeah, that's a lot of people. That's oh, a lot. It's 90 million. 90 million. <laughs> I think, dude, dude, somebody in Xanderol's chat is like, Keem's gonna ask the cookie question. <laughs> oh, so, no. Wait, this is actually really interesting. Like, oh, uh, fact, fuck, I, I got so there scared. Are towns, there are towns, just... like, in the Midwest of America, whose population of men to women is so skewed heavily. Because back in the 1940s, so many of the men from those towns um, happened to die during World War II. So, Not... like, to this day, there's, like, a crazy unbalance. Okay, nice side fact. Okay, so I looked it up, and there's 85 million people that died, which is in, an insane amount of people. All right, so let's think about that. What percentage is 85 million to 2.3 billion? A large amount. Someone in my chat said 3%. Did someone do the math? So there'd be 3% more people today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... Well, I don't know... If there'd be 3%, well, I guess, yeah, maybe. They'd be close. That's it? be close. Well, no, because those people would have had kids. Because because humanity has been growing exponentially. They're yeah, but it would grow at the same rate. We're getting the rate at that time. The 3% of that well, time would still be 3% today, right? Well, no, because you have to remember that 3%, at, that was only 3% at the time. That was back mm -hmm. when there was only like 2.3 billion people in the world. Now there's right. nearly 8 billion. So those people would have had kids. There would probably be closer to 10 billion people in the world. Maybe. Okay. But if I you know. take that 3% and you add that with the 97%, right, back in the 1940s, and they all go throughout time, that 3% is still going to be 3% today. Um, well, I mean, they'd still be... Oh, some of them would still be around. I'm not following this anymore, Augie. Yeah. If this gets racist, that, let me know and I'll amount, cut the stream. That number... That... <laughs> that, that, number, that number would be um it's hard to tell like that, Hall, three, yeah. that three percent would not be worth uh like be a three percent today no no i guess i'm saying Delete dead wrong, freaks right? message from so, my chat i don't know how to do okay. it okay if that three percent of people were still alive okay mm -hmm. and the 95 seven percent of people those people are obviously alive because they didn't die right and mm -hmm. they went all the way to 2021 at three percent and their children would still represent roughly three percent of the population today right holy crap you'd think but maybe it yeah wouldn't. I'm that's what i'm saying to know. that's what i'm saying so basically you know we'd have three percent more people and quite honestly i think there's too many people on this earth as it is so i don't i don't think i would fuck hitler <laughs> Sorry, what? You know, overpopulation, like, the world isn't overpopulated. That's not, like, a thing, right? I mean, I I think it is. Xanderhal's right, dude. It's The world's only overpopulated in certain areas, bro. Other areas yeah, are fine. It, yeah, well, I mean, there's plenty of space in the world right now to, to have housing for everybody and still have plenty of nature left over. The main issue is that there's very high density of um, housing in certain areas, and certain countries just don't have the ability to handle that many people in one place, right? I mean, like, um, I just, uh, the uh, Mr. Beast, uh, or not Mr. Beast, Mr. Uh, Mark Rober's video, uh, the recent one about the trash eating machine for Team C's, talked about how, like, a lot of these um, communities in the third world have a lot of people living in one place, but they don't have um, waste management systems, but the trash and stuff like that has to go somewhere, and it ends up going into the ocean. Much an issue of, well, it's an issue of, the people we have don't have access to what they need to live healthy lives and keep the earth from getting fucked up. I think every single adult that is going to have kids shouldn't have more than two kids. I really believe How that. do we enforce that, Ken? Because there's no way to enforce it. Like, China tried to do it back in the day. Like, it's You wouldn't not, have, like, like a... What, what, would, what would be your preferred way to enforce that? I, I would never, it. I would never, ever suggest any enforcement of it. I'm just saying, man to fellow man, man to fellow women, or whatever. Like, I think you should only have two kids. I don't think we need more people here. Look, I don't care if there's, uh, if the population can times ten. I think we have enough people now. <laughs> we have enough uh, people here. Like, I, I want all these open spaces. I want these forests. I want these, uh, you know, places that have enough humans that can still be explored. Uh, I don't want, you know, a ton more people here. Wait, th there's plenty of room. 
I don't think. I don't care. I don't want them. Just because there's too, you don't think there's enough room. Well, luckily, Keem, it's the yeah, great replacement, so we're getting rid of some of them. We're just replacing ones. They're actually not. We're not actually the standard. Land. Yeah, but at least nine percent of Keem's server will still be here. But listen, you guys keep saying there's plenty of room, right? There's plenty of room. That was a joke, there's Xander Hall's chat. Fuck you guys. Okay, yeah, but you're all... <laughs> Wait, they don't know. But, but, but hold on. You're saying there's plenty of room. That's fine, right? But if you fill it up to where, to the point where it's filled, then what? You don't want it filled. What do you mean? Filled? I'm glad there's room. Wait, what do you, what do you mean? Wait, how, okay, are we talking about America right now? Earth. Earth, okay. What? There's so much nothingness on earth like the amount of of middle of nowhere there is still on earth would actually surprise the shit out of you i recently I... uh like last year did a road trip from florida to southern california there is so much nothing I, i've seen it dude by... fuck it dude yeah, i'm dude, saying it america deserves a birth right. cap okay no 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 i've listened listen sanderfield I did this in 2008 when you were in diapers, all right? I went around the whole United States, was nine right? in 2008. The middle of country. You were still in diapers. You're still in diapers today. What are you saying? Anyhow, <laughs> the entire <laughs> middle of the country is nothing. I get it. I totally get it. And I love it. I love it. If you start putting people in there, I'm going to have a problem with you, bro. Like, I love those open spaces. I like the fact that people can go and get on a plane and get go out to some, you know, what, whatever airport or get on a road trip or whatever, and they can experience real nature without people. Saying there's plenty of room isn't the answer. All right, there's not enough room. We need yeah. to get rid of some of these people. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 what? Wait, Keem, that's not what you were arguing even, before. Even, wait, 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 even native born Americans are fleeing from like the, the center of the country from like flyover states and heading to coastal cities. Especially immigrants coming to America overwhelmingly go to coastal cities over like the middle of nowhere in like the Midwest. Those areas are getting so, emptier. Everyone's condensing on the on the coasts and towards like So cities. let me ask you a question. Why do all these people not believe in um you know, uh, climate change, because isn't the sea about to raise, like, you know, 50 feet or something? But city, people who live in cities are more educated and tend to vote Democrat more than people in the countryside. Yeah, why do they live, why do they live on coastal regions where it's going to flood and they're all going to die? Because that's where higher business opportunities are for people with better educations, Chat. like people who live in cities. Chat, are. this is getting kind of genocide to me. Mm -hmm. Um... I yeah. mean, if you, if you, I mean, if you're gonna I mean, if, work, if like we are, if we are, it's gonna if, be in a city, probably. Yeah, I mean, if we are talking about like you know the nineteen like and, you know fifties or something, but things have changed like change where people can tomorrow, where like a big hurt, like a giant wave just comes one day and wipes the city away. It's not how it's gonna work. Most I mean, of job to... opportunities now require internet, right? And internet can be yeah. done anywhere. And you know, now mm -hmm. after the pandemic, you know, companies are, you know, sending their people to work from home. In fact, I just had a lovely call with my internet provider, some lady at her house, her kid was running around in the background because I was trying to boost up the speeds. It was unbelievable. I was talking to some woman in the middle of Kansas, right? She was, I mean, it was, a, the whole thing was a mess. But the point that I'm trying to make is, you know, people can do these jobs in the middle of the country as well. Um, theoretically, they could. And I think that's going to get more common once uh, COVID has sort of like passed have you seen the stories of people fleeting have you seen the stories of people fleeting uh la <laughs> fleeting new york um yeah there are a lot of people that are leaving la and new york and big cities to live like uh in more rural areas but that's more so from my understanding due to taxes um, uh, i think it's called urban oh. creep and uh that's people who are already like well off leaving more people seem to be filling their spots coming into these uh into these cities anyway. Like it seems to be people like retiring and going off or um, people like leaving the main part of the city and going out into like the suburb where urban sprawl has happened. As like a- That's <clears> not <throat> what I've seen because what I've seen the is urban a bunch area, of people realizing- That's not a statistic. There's no statistic that tracks that people are sick of liberal LA and New York and they're leaving because they I want say to that. be not in a city that's the implication that's what has been like the talking point by a lot of conservatives like la and new york have gone too far they're run by democrats and 
we're getting the fuck out because it's going to shit, right? Radio Lab, Radio Lab um, has a, uh, and I think it's left leaning a little bit, but you know they're not political. It's a great podcast. Everyone should listen to Radio Lab. But they ran some type of story, and I, I think it was on Radio Lab, and they interviewed a bunch of people and why they were leaving New York City, and every single one of them had to work from home. They were forced to work from home because of the pandemic, and they realized. Why am I paying three thousand dollars, five thousand dollars a month for this LA apartment that's as big as a shoebox when I can live anywhere? Like all I need is internet, and that's why people were fleeing the city. City, and they're pretty good journalists over there at Radio Lab. So I don't know. I think that's probably one of the main things. I mean, a, a, like a video where you go up to random people on the street and like question them isn't going to be as good as a study. But I mean, yeah. I imagine that the uh, pandemic is going to normalize working from home a lot. Obviously, I don't trust I studies. You, you trust studies? When you see studies, you trust them? Uh, you, if they list the methodology and they're done by a fairly trustworthy eight, like group of people, then yeah. Oh, I think studies are out there to give fake facts out to the world. Yeah, I don't trust studies either. Fuck the government, dude. I don't trust dude. any studies. Like, any I don't study, trust like, that shit. No. <laughs> Who, who do you think is like go messing with the studies to uh, change? The only thing I trust are NFTs. Well, let's find let's find the study. You know what? This will be a fun experiment. Let's find the study that you're talking about, and let's figure out who did the study, how they did the study, and let's find out if they're full of shit or not. Let's have a vote. We'll all have vote. Hey, we'll be jury members. We'll all be jury members. We'll, we'll you present your case. I'll be the defense. I'll make up some counter arguments, even if. Like, you know, I'm guaranteed to lose. I'll still try to make some type of argument on why it's bad. And, uh, you know, then we'll have everyone in this chat vote. Cool. Seems um, like a fun game. Nice. So what's what's the point? Is the point that, like, we need to stop immigration so there's more middle of nowhere? No, I think the point was our studies legit. But we, we came to this because you argued that we need to stop immigration because there's too many people. I didn't say anything about immigration. Did I say anything about immigration? Yeah, uh, wait, wait. What, 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 oh, what do we're happen? slowly inching yeah. towards the John Tron question? What the hell? We're slowly oh, but surely. <laughs> wait, Keem, okay. Wait, how which how group is more Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait, Keem, sorry. Which group of people commits more crime against the other? Oh, <laughs> right. Keem, if I had to, if I had to pick no. which group does more crime, would it be rich black people or poor white people? Answer clear. Answer very clearly. Listen, <laughs> listen, boy. Wait, wait. Is this I gonna can... be a TOS one? <laughs> 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 I can tell. Let me answer the question. Shut up. All right. I can tell Sorry. you from firsthand experience, rich uh -oh. white men do the most crimes. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> do you do you know from experience? Wait, here? you're a rich white man. Uh, all, dude, business in America is all criminals. <laughs> all of it. It's not wrong. Every bit of it. So you know. Who does more crimes? <laughs> Fucking based. Yeah. Stardust, I know you had a question for Keemstar. I was wondering if you wanted to ask it. All right, now Keem, tell us what your real answer is. <laughs> Wait, I'll tell what you part did you ask? Out of here. What you? I didn't ask what you asked me to ask. Well, uh, wait, you asked about the Hitler. Hitler yeah, though, so Keem right? said he would he would have sex with Hitler. Okay. How okay. What does that entail for you? What does that entail for you? What kind of sex would you have with Hitler? How far Listen, would you go? I'm gonna ignore that because that's. <laughs> but why has no one called him out and saying, uh, you know, that I was bringing immigration into it? Like, how has no one called him out for that snake-like little I move did. that he tried to bowl? Yeah, what Xander, all that was fucked wait, up, wait, man. Wait, 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 hold on. Shit. Hold on. I'm pretty high right now, but I'm pretty sure I remember Keemstar saying we gotta cut, we gotta stop bringing people in. I no, I think know. he was going more they genocide. Keemstar was arguing, yeah, it's he was arguing sad. genocide. He was like, if you have if you have more kids oh. than just you, they should be fucking killed or something. That's what okay. Keem was saying. Okay, I misheard them. That's a snake yeah. move. I said, I said, okay, no, no, fuck him. He's not going to get away with this, all right? Because listen to this. Listen to this, boys, all right? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I was talking about population, and he asked me, directly asked me, and I'm drunk, and I'm high, and I'm everything right now, right? He directly asked me, are we talking about America? And I responded to him, no, the world, the planet. Do you guys remember me saying this? Yeah, he was talking about something yeah, about having, wait, like, he, a... 
a isn't cap it on how many kids you... people can have. Wait, Keem, isn't it hypocritical of you to complain about Xanderhal taking you out of a context when you called Vosh a pedo at the start of this debate? I didn't call him that. Bro. You just took me out of context. What? I didn't say that. You lied I have the me, bro. 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 Stop being disingenuous. The quote was, YouTube streamer Vosh V is live right now playing Among Us. Defends child porn. There you go. <laughs> you know what? Team Star, you owned me, alright? I, I, I just have to rescind my. <laughs> Team Star, my the bad. Of the my my bad. <laughs> oh my god, this guy in chat over on Xanderfield's field said, Hey guys, I'm on drugs, guys. I'm cool. And he put it in quotations. Bro, I think you need to get on some, dude. <laughs> YouTube chat? Nobody just to be clear, chat. just taking like five seconds out in the middle of this conversation, Vosh is not a pedophile, and he does not consume child porn. Hey, but you don't know that. Okay. To be fact. Oh, oh my god, god Yeah, but we, we can't right. prove- But you don't know that to be fact, you have to say allegedly people Wait, Keem, how do we know you don't fucking watch that shit? Allegedly, no, I don't. We don't. We you don't could, say, you could say it either way, there's no proof either way. Well, so. For all I know, you and Vosh watch it together. You guys fucking oh, jerk each other off to that shit. I don't know. I oh heard you guys God. give each other handies. Under now, if the we're table. talking about if we're yeah. talking about horse cocks, okay? There's a bit more to that rumor. Okay, I mean then you. you yeah, there's a bit there. more to that rumor. That I, I gotta let him. I gotta let him stand trial for that one. I can't defend him on that. He's he's been very open about his love for. He wants to have a horse cock. That's what he claims. Like one in his he possession. His what? Oh, okay. No, he wants his cock to be a horse cock, apparently. Okay, who is Vosh? Vosh is a ho he's an advocate Bosch. of the horse. He loves horse cock. He loves horse cock. Okay. He loves yeah. it Yo. so much. I think so not talking about he wants cock. He's not saying he wants it to be big like a horse cock. No, no, no. He wants an well, actual wants horse cock. Timeout. No, no, he wants his cock I... to have the shape and size and everything of a horse what cock. What the yes. okay. fuck? Okay, can I speak, can I yeah, speak sure. please, without interruption? All right. Now, if someone is saying publicly, I want my dick to be like a horse cock, right? And I want it to be the same shape and whatever, just what Sanderfield said, right? If they're saying that, wouldn't you have to draw the conclusion that he knows what a horse cock looks based on looking at horse cock, which means technically, allegedly, basically he is watching some bestiality. Come on, bro, is that not a self-expose or what? Have you ever been around a just, horse before? They, they, I think they it just means he's looked time. too closely at horse cock, right? It doesn't necessarily mean Dude, I went to the zoo one videos. time he and two just... horses were just like fucking on the side of the thing. Yeah, I've seen horse- I've seen horse cock in real life, unfortunately. They just let it flop I around. I felt- you guys what? Why are you guys looking at horse cock? What? When you're at the zoo, is that what you look at? No, no, Holy okay. shit! Alright, I mean, sorry, if, if two horses Stardust. are literally Whoa. fucking, are you like- you're not- yeah, you were not supposed to see their dick. It's already inside right, the other horse, dude. That if is you're seeing thing. the dick, wait, 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 look, 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 uh, yeah. The horse is bigger than okay, the horse cock, dude. Yeah. You're, you're choosing to look at it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Start no, 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 no. If it's, it's there, okay. it's just horse fine. Okay, what percentage, what percentage of the body of is the is the horse cock? Every what single percentage? one of every single horse cock is a cervix pounder. Okay, they. Okay, but it's not. It's no. Plenty of I don't care. I don't care if I saw somebody with. I saw a human with a horse cock. I would run, dude. I'm not into that. All right. All right. All right. I just re wait, 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 wait. So I just realized that cock. Sanderfield has two different streams going on, right? So I could see his chat in the other one. He goes, Keem, if you don't know what a horse cock look like, looks like, you haven't watched cam girls playing with toys. What oh, okay. So Keem, oh. there's apparently a genre of like porn where they get like a dildo that is the size and or shape of a horse. No way. Like an actual yeah. horse. Yeah. Okay, there's a legendary video, all right? This is why oh, this is no. dangerous. This is oh, dangerous, all right? God. I'm not going to go into details, right? But there is a legendary video. I think even Joe Rogan has talked about one it on man, this podcast. It's pretty public. Yeah, a guy okay. had an obsession with getting railed by a horse, all right? He did the deed and died. Like, it's like a horse thing. So are you like saying that Vosh is homicidal, bro. that he wants to kill people with his penis? Yes! Suicidal. No, yes. no, 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 you suicidal. said he wants a horse actually, cock, actually... so he wants to kill people with his dick. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, well, I think we'd all like I actually think that's a decent, um, theory, like, like, actually. 
Yeah, actually, yep. let's be honest here. I think everybody, everyone here would 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 like be able to kill people with their dicks. Um. Anyway, uh, uh, no. actually that sounds story. horrifying. Wait. That sounds like a traumatic no, that's, experience. That's imagine, imagine having sex for the first time and you absolutely like. Wait, that was the like a what was with. that movie? Wait, there was awesome. a TV show where that was like the plot of the first episode. Are they like fucked and then like she killed him or something through her sex? There are so uh, many shows. Oh, it was like the, it was like Coven. Oh uh, shit! What the fuck was the show called? American Horror this Story season three. This is why you can't trust any woman ever. Whoa. <laughs> Tr true. I thought Damn, I was the incel. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, why? Because in the movies, they always kill the dudes with sex, bro. That's that's always the way. Wait, can, uh, have you ever seen Oh, the so the movies are reality to you? Is that is that what you're saying right now? Wait, we didn't Rush bring up the ethics of movies Marvel movies? I watched the Marvel movie and it taught me yeah, wait, how to <laughs> Yeah, that's why... <laughs> That's why. Look, you don't get your. Yeah, okay, no, never, mind. never mind. Listen, listen, lady. I was listening to some rap music, and they were saying, "Don't trust any hoe." <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, another. You're, another you're not w argue, game. You're not gonna no, argue. I'm not. The whole I, rap I don't culture. really. I don't have anything to say. Like if I. I was watching Vitaly, right, and he was out there with his Lambo, right. And this girl rolled up and she was like, hey, you know, what's up? And he was like talking to her and uh, she wasn't interested. And then she saw him get into the Lambo and she was really interested. And and that's what grooming right, guys, is. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get oh, back man. to this debate that I was reviewing. I've had a really fun time uh, hanging RGR out with you guys. Yeah, I'm watching the Vosh VRGR <laughs> debate. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, I up. just got done with that. RGR lost that. Yeah. Like, I... I, yes. I only watched like the very beginning she when did. I was watching it on Xander Hole stream. Jesus. The moment she opened with her analogy, the moment she opened with the the, the first analogy she used was <clears> so <throat> horrible. The the moment that she said that it was like all downhill. Like, yeah, I, I did not was, expect well, that to go down that way. All right, back to the real question, Kim. So you said you'd fuck Hitler to sit, to stop World War II, but would you let Hitler shit on your chest? What? Wait. Okay. Oh, <laughs> wait. wait. You won't talk about Dear Jennifer, you'll talk exactly. about fucking, fucking Hitler? Exactly. Wait, what? Yes, okay, this exactly. is the question. This is the question, okay? The question is, okay, Hitler was obviously very much into shit, okay? Um, and Please so- Please German, they all love shit. <laughs> oh. Yeah, um, look. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, so, yeah. engineering. First off, would you shit yourself in public if it meant like Hitler would not do what he did? Obviously. Yeah, I'd shit all over the floor. <laughs> okay, I shit right fucking okay, but would now. would you shit on his? <laughs> I shit all over the place and still make money, and that's because I'm talented. I forgot about that. I forgot. I walked right Wait, into you that. Know what yeah, I'm we showed it to him. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Oh my god. This is such a dumb thought experiment. I hate this. Uh, no. Play. Okay. Would you let Hitler shit on your chest? Sure, why not? Really? Run it. <laughs> Run it. I'm gonna save seven million people, bro. I'm gonna flex that. I don't care. Yeah, but nobody's gonna know. You're in, it, it, it changes history, so nobody will know. Okay, listen, listen, hold on. Wait, someone just said that. Wait, wait, wait. If you tell wait, anybody, wait. if you tell anybody, they're gonna think Keem, you're crazy. Keem, 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 time out. Someone said I that's true make... Jordy's favorite question. Oh my god, okay. Well, <laughs> let, me, let me explain this to you, right? <laughs> I am the main character in my movie, and I am the only one that is recording my movie. So I don't really care if no one knows. I'm gonna know. I'm gonna save seven million people, and I, that's gonna be the biggest flex ever. I don't care. I'm doing it. Like but so, you, when you, only you no, know but that. The question, but the question when you say only you know that just exposes yourself for like needing validation from the world. Like you just expose yourself for even. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Oh yeah. I don't need no validation doubt. From the world. Okay, fair enough. As long as I know I saved 7 million people, I'm good, bro. Like, I don't need anyone else to know. I don't care. I just, I think it's really funny that you're, like, you could try and tell somebody and they're going to be like, what? Like, what are you talking about? You're crazy, you know? I'm going to be like, who cares? I don't care. Like, this is what really happened. 
I let a failed I artist shit Twitter on my chest day. and I saved 7 million people. Like Dude, on <laughs> Twitter every day, on Twitter every day, I tell the world something, right? And a million people say I'm lying or I'm wrong or whatever. And like, they're, they're the ones that are wrong. I don't care. I'm right. It's all me. That's, it's me in the comments. Uh, that's a lot of that's a lot of accounts. Yeah, dude. When comments. Key Max before he started asking how many people died in World War Two, I got so fucking scared for the direction that conversation was gonna go in. I'm so glad it didn't go that way. Well, you were there right with me, right? Dude. Yeah, we all we, we had know, like our collective dude. gasp. We were just dude. like, uh Brandon Teamstar in these streams, dude. He's always pushing the line, you know. Uh, why? It's always... I don't understand. Where would you think that? Would um, gone? like, give me a hint. Holocaust denial. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know oh, where that could have gone. Are you trying to say the Holocaust didn't happen? That's where I thought the conversation was gonna go. You don't think it happened? No, I I know it. Happened. I know what happened, Cube. So are you trying to say that? Okay, I when you started asking happened? about the numbers, what? I thought you were gonna make an argument saying like, I I don't know. There's there's a common argument. You haven't demonstrated yeah. that. <laughs> It's Why? getting spammed in my chat happened? right now, and I keep timing people out, and they keep coming back and then posting it again. You haven't heard the the cookie Why meme? Make... We can't. We're not saying Why it on Twitch, but I'll tell you argument. offline. Um, I don't understand. Why you think I would make that <laughs> like, What would be the point? <laughs> I don't know, team. You always get a little wild in these streams. You never know, dude. Yeah, but why? Like you're like labeling me. No, as, I'm not. Like, some, some Nazi whenever, or whenever yeah, I hear are. World War II and like the numbers, I get worried. Okay, it's not like it's not personal. Fair enough thing. Knowing it's how. It's weird. What have I ever? It's said not you. It's this fucking. Race, it's like this. It's the internet. Personal. The internet's weird. It's. It's this community as well. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't like that implication because I literally built the community. Yeah, Augie, so. Augie's the worst one, dude. He literally thinks it's too. Uh, never mind. Um. <laughs> okay, buddy. All right, buddy. Yeah, go ahead. Um, go say, yeah, say, uh, go say it on Cozy TV, us. buddy. Uh, hey, well, listen, all right, buddy. Listen, Cozy listen. TV. Maybe Keem yeah. will stream on there if he gets too wild on this stream. <laughs> there is there is absolutely no reason to lie about the Holocaust numbers. Like, there's what, what is the motive? There would be no motive of it. Like, there's. Well, why do people fall sense. into conspiracy theories? I don't think it's intentional that people lie. I think they're just like easily manipulated, and there's some manipulators who are profiting off of it. It's the same thing, dude. Dude, dude it's like downstream from the crazy shit that like uh, we see in like. The politics yeah, but... here. Dude, conspiracy theorists and the people who push them are just worse grifters than the people who already exist in Twitch politics. <laughs> he believes in conspiracy theories, though. He just doesn't believe in the political hold ones. On. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you, you, you know, obviously this surrounded like World War II and how many, how many Jews did uh, pass away in the Holocaust? Six what, million. What? Six million yes. is the number, okay. Now, now, if anyone thinks that that's extreme or they don't believe that, you're True. insane. And let me explain to you why. Because in World War One, in World War One, not World War Two, World War One. All right. Guess how many horses? How many? Just horses. Eight million. <laughs> Jesus. Eight million horses died in World War One. In fact, at the end of the war, they had this big like you know, ceremony where they all came together with like torches or whatever and they made a horse on the battlefield to to, you know, send love or whatever to the horses because eight million horses died in World War. Do you have like some really fucking interesting knowledge for the weirdest shit? Dude, I feel like he's one of those people that's now imagine this, all right? Eight million horse cocks. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) That, yeah, I was gonna say that's really sus. If, you know, it's a little sussy, you know if I would say so myself. Yeah, dude, uh, what if eight million horses question. didn't die? They were just transported with Vosh to the future. Here's another, <laughs> oh my God. Here, here's another question. All right, a number. Oh, Some shut up. Here's uh... <laughs> another the horse question. One. What does eight million horses and the Holocaust have in common? I don't like this question. Oh, my <laughs> I'm <God>. scared. <laughs> I just. I gotta go. Okay. Good night. Good night.